The IPO, everybody can't get enough of. I'm wondering if you're sort of sitting there in your basement thinking, I want to be the right. next Facebook and watching this IPO with a little bit of greed. <laughs> right, you exactly. Be a part of it. You want to live that story. You want to live that story. What's sort of the number one thing you would say to, to do? You know, it's the number one thing that they did right that I say to people all the time, and that is they found a real unique market niche. They studied the market, they looked like what was out there, they found something that was missing, and they provided a solution to it, and people loved it. I read a story where they launched like on February 4th, and on February 5th they really knew they had something because the students were all, you know, using it all over the place. So that unique value proposition is really what makes them great. Something new, but it's not something that they chewed on for a really long time. I mean, this this moving quickly seems yes. to be just inherent in making a success story. And that's right. They made bold decisions. They acted. They moved forward very quickly. One of the things that hurts small businesses is, is they get paralyzed by perfection, right. especially if you've been in a traditional career path and you're starting your own business. You know, well, when it, when the website gets finished or when this gets done, you know what? The market moves quickly. You're going to lose your window of opportunity, and when that window closes, you know somebody else has seized the sees the moment and run with it. So, so. it's all almost better to just give it a shot, throw the balls in the air, even right. if you haven't like perfected your juggling act. You know, they say at uh, at Facebook offices, I have written on the wall, done is better than perfect. Right. You know, do something right. even if it's wrong, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, great is the enemy of good to right. some extent. Yes. I wonder about the building your team because, you know, people seen the Facebook movie, obviously that wasn't put out right. by it the people in right. Facebook, but you wonder about how important your core team is initially and whether you should keep those people with you and for how long. Right, and that's a great question and it's a hard one for a lot of small businesses. I just did a uh, webinar yesterday. Over half of the small businesses on the webinar said they were having trouble hiring great talent. But what Facebook did is they did recognize it takes a team to build a great successful business and they were able to attract the best and the brightest. Right. They did that by building a really cool culture. Yeah. They gave people the freedom to go out and do things and try and you know they, they built this wonderful team and that culture that it's still a great place to work and it's still very entrepreneurial, only 3,000 employees. That's amazing, too. Yeah. Um, uh, many of whom are getting very rich. Yeah, it's uh, going to be millionaires. <laughs> more, moreover. Yes. Uh, I wonder about, though, diversifying what you do, because small businesses all the time hear from people who are making you know, products that are tangible parts you could hold here. Don't be a one-hit wonder. That's is that, right. I mean, is there something to take away from Facebook there? Yeah, you look at Facebook and still the primary revenue stream for Facebook is advertising, but we all know how fickle the advertising market can be. Right. Um, you know, when you're starting your business, if you just have that one product to hang your hat on or that one service, and you know, there are ebbs and flows with everything. Well, you know, if you have another product, another revenue stream that you've diversified with, that kind of smooths that out. It yeah. smooths out your cash flow. But also the great thing about Facebook is when they decided to diversify, they opened up their software platform, right. allowed other developers to come in. Now they're making revenue from that. And the gaming they, and yeah, right. and but they made a whole new set of new business owners out there. Uh, some of them who have been very successful. Yep. Well, good tips from you. Yes. Did you get any of the shares? No, I didn't. <laughs> but you know, it's all right. Would we, we have to, we have to you know, acknowledge right. that right here? If yes. You did. All I right. Know. Okay. Susan Solovic, CEO of It's Your Biz. Thanks for being Thanks. here with us.